This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2020. Anterior vertebral body tethering, or VBT, is an early treatment option for progressive scoliosis in pediatric patients that allows for continued deformity correction during normal growth. Although this technique has proven effective in animal models, relatively few studies have examined the post-operative outcomes of this technique in pediatric patients. A group of researchers retrospectively reviewed clinical and radiographic outcomes of 31 consecutive patients from a single institution who were treated with VBT for their adolescent scoliosis with various lanky curve patterns. Successful outcomes were defined by a residual curve of less than or equal to 30 degrees without receiving a posterior spinal fusion, or PSF, in patients who reached skeletal maturity. Of the 31 patients treated, 29 were followed for a period of at least two years and were included in the final analysis. Although a suspected broken tether was observed in 14 of the 29 patients, successful outcomes were achieved in 20 of 27 patients who reached skeletal maturity, resulting in a success rate of 74%. Of the seven patients who had unsuccessful outcomes at skeletal maturity, five showed residual curves greater than 30 degrees, and the other two underwent a PSF following continued curve progression. In fact, the study found that despite having a slightly more mature patient population when compared with other studies, the patient cohort demonstrated a higher rate of success and lower rate of surgical revision a PSF was avoided in 93% of the patients at the latest follow-up. Thus, the study reports that VBT is likely a reliable treatment option for adolescent scoliosis in skeletally immature individuals given the proper indications.